only football news at the moment is regarding um, Newcastle and a potential takeover. What have you made of um, Mike Ashley's tenure and how things are now looking kind of hopeful again with some new owners? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you know, to begin with, you got to take your hat off to him in, in terms of what he did when he first came into the club. But you know, it's 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 become more of a business to him, um, and. You know, the, the potential in, in, in Newcastle and the city and everything is, is just absolutely huge. Um, you know, and hopefully with what's happening at the minute and, and the potential takeover that this does go through. Um, you know, because Newcastle shouldn't be a club where, you know, you know last season they just sort of, you know, a few weeks before the end of the season guaranteed their safety. A few weeks before the end of the season they, they got their... Um, their safety. This is a club which should be fighting for European football every single year. Um, you know, everything is there. Everything is in place for this club to just go on to a different level. And I think, you know, looking back to 95, 96 season, I think if we had a won the league that year, that could have been the catalyst in terms of Newcastle going on to be a regular top four team. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't get over the line and then Kevin left six months later. Um, but yeah, the, you know it's 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 massive. What what could happen to to Newcastle if somebody comes in? And you know, hopefully, you know, Mike Ashley does the, the sort of sensible thing and agrees agrees everything, and, and it gets done. And you know, Newcastle fans can can look forward to you know happier times rather than you know thinking about mid table or thinking about just avoiding relegation. Because as I say, the club could go. You know, the club could do a Man City without a shadow of a doubt if, if they get the right back in. Yeah, uh, they definitely could. And, um, well, even more than a Man City because they'll have a full stadium, which Man City don't. Yeah. Um, so uh, the rumours are that they're going to bring in a um, director of football. Um, one of the names that has been mentioned is Les Ferdinand. Um, would you go along with that? And um, do you think Les has got the, the right... Obviously, he's doing the job at QPR at the moment. Do you reckon he's always had that football brain about him and that he's the right man for the job? Without a shadow of a doubt. Um, you know, he's, he's been involved in that role, as, as you said, at um, Queen's Park Rangers. He's absolutely adored by the, by the Newcastle, um, you know, Newcastle fans and Newcastle public. You know, so certainly he is... You know, he would be top of my list in terms of, you know, someone coming in there. Um, you know, he's a he's a great he's a great fella. He's a great person, uh, fantastic footballer that he was. Uh, but you know, certainly he'd be he'd be one that you know I'm sure it would be earmarked to to be in for that job without a shadow of a doubt. And when I spoke to Warren Barton last week, he was adamant that um, Pochettino would be the next Newcastle manager. Um, who would you, who, obviously, Steve Bruce is there at the moment, and there's as we sit here and talk, the, uh, the takeover's not been completed yet, and Steve Bruce is still the manager, so it's it's all just pure speculation. But when, should the takeover go through, would you like to see Steve Bruce given the chance, or would you go along with, say, Pochettino or a return of Rafa Benitez? I firmly believe that you'd have to give Steve Bruce a chance. Um, you, you know, with a, with a squad that you sort of look at and... and in the Premiership today, you know, you wouldn't say it's a great squad that he has, but he's still he's still done a really good job. Um, you know, with 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 the way the season's gone, um, I don't think there was any chance that you know that relegation will happen once the season gets underway again. Uh, but you know, certainly he needs to be given that chance. Um, you know, he's a he's a jolly through and through. Um, you know, I remember when I did. Signed for the club, and I said that I did speak to, to yeah. Steve Bruce. You know, it was something he always wanted to do was play for Newcastle. He's he's had the opportunity now to manage the club, and he's and he's done a good job. He wasn't everyone's, you know, first choice when when he got it, and he's had to pr uh, prove quite a few people wrong. But I think he has silenced a few at times, and I think, um, you know, if he, if he give him money and he's able to attract players, which I think there's no doubt he'll be able to do, especially at a, you know, a, a place like Newcastle where, you know, that it's a fantastic city. Um, you know, I think he needs to be given that chance and, and show what he can do with, with better players.
as much as uh, a world class manager obviously usually happens with a takeover, I think it would be a bit harsh to uh, get rid of Steve Bruce, considering, as you say, we've not been anywhere near the relegation this season. He deserves mm. deserves to at least see out the season, especially as we're still in the FA Cup. We're one win away from a semi final at uh, at Wembley, whenever that's going to be played. I could talk to you all night just about you <laughs> against Barcelona. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you any longer. Um, as I say, it's been great to have you on the channel and uh, I hope you'll be good enough to come back on uh, one day soon. Yep, no problem. Thanks for having me, Sam. <laughs>